Many of you are often looking for affordable solutions to being able to make good quality videos and perhaps even be able to make the thumbnails that you really want to. Well, I appreciate the Adobe Suite quite a bit, as you might already know, but you will never own that software for as long as you pay for it, which already for me does make it somewhat of a deal breaker. So in today's video, I would like to talk about a video and photo editing alternative that I'm sure many of you will appreciate. Powered by ACDC, I would like to talk about the ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2021 and ACDC L Luxia or Luxia Lucia Lucia with even a photo editing alternative for iPad. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Instagram and a link to the text on the Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details to that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. So this video is not sponsored by ACDC, but they did provide the review units for Luxia and the Photo Studio Ultimate for PC. However, I purchased ACDC Pro for iPad Pro on my own. And now with proper disclaimers out of the way, and let's get right into the video. So if you're looking for a thumbnail editor, hell, even just a full photo editor, then ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2021 is going to be an amazing option to go for. So this, in my opinion, is one of the best alternatives to Photoshop because it is packed to the brim with a lot of very useful tools. And last year, I actually talked about the 2020 edition and I was pretty impressed with it. But this time around, I'm noticing greater strides in performance and even more features too. I would say that this software is mostly meant for professional photo editing of people or animals in particular, but I have found it to also just be very good when it comes to editing objects and things like that. So you got yourself a ton of options at the develop panel where you have a lot of sliders for fine adjustments on your pictures. Contrast, saturation, color balance, focus, and so much more is available at your disposal. And, and while these are sliders instead of being free-handed, they still offer quite a bit of precision with a lot of these i would say and now while my camera does have pretty good shallow depth of field capabilities i can make the background even blurrier than that pretty easily without compromising the subject and i really appreciate that and i can also go ahead and brighten up the colors on the back in order to bring more emphasis on this microphone and also kind of just make the background look a little bit more attractive with more lights they're also just going to be fantastic sharpening tools that work especially well when wanting to emphasize the capsule grill and make it pop. I like to exaggerate these aspects so that the objects really pop and we are far from limited to just these, these features as well. So when it comes to color correction, there are also going to be a ton of different color wheels that you can use. And even if you don't like using wheels, which I can understand, I personally am not that big of a fan of wheels. There are also hue sliders and color balance sliders to mess around with. So you do have options. I really like the software for the base image since I find it much easier to get the effects of that I want from these images than it would be through Photoshop if I'm completely honest. And then on the editors panel, you will come across a more traditional image editing layout, very similar to Photoshop. And this one is going to offer pretty much everything that you would expect. This is actually when you would begin me messing around with layers. And you can add text. I still get the lasso tools and the magic wand tool, among many of the tools that you would expect within Photoshop. So this is going to be a pretty cool way of going about it and a very good photo editing software. And now there's going to be a free trial for this program if you want to give it a try. And if you want to keep it, then it's just a one-time purchase of 85 bucks since it is currently on sale. And again, you buy it just that one time and you don't have to worry about it again. So I really recommend that. And now let's go ahead and talk about the video editor, which by the way, is completely free to download and use. And this is actually going to be great for simpler video edits by default and it does offer some customization and decent amount of effects already built in. Bit of an unconventional setup I would say but it is very simplified. When it comes to the effects for instance I love that it offers a preview of what it would look like 
before you go ahead and apply that effect. And when it comes to audio, you can't exactly do all that much to edit it or add transitions. So keep that in mind. Like you do have transitions, but it's only fade in and fade out. And you also technically don't get separate audio tracks either, but you can work on the audio through the video track itself. I don't love that method of working with it, but I can manage for most things since this isn't really an audio editor, so I will forgive it in that sense and it is free software. You also get some filters and some more adjustments that you can mess around with. I like the interface because it looks very simple. I just kind of wish that it came with a stabilizer since I couldn't really find one. You can also pay for like additional plugins if you really want more features for it. And as a simple yet effective and free video editor, I can strongly recommend it to beginners for sure. And as promised, there is somewhat of a suite from ACDC for the iPad Pro, but I found that there were two apps in particular that would be great for editing on the go. And one of them actually happens to be more so of ACDC camera app. However, we're not going to be talking too much about that one. And we're going to be moving on to ACDC Pro, which is the actual photo editor versus the camera one. And as I just said, there's going to be ACDC Pro, which is a photo editor that mostly features presets for framing, filters, additional effects, lens effects, etc. But you do have the option to use sliders for making more fine-tuned adjustments with it. As a literal $5 alternative, to Photoshop on iPad, I dig this program since it gives you the simpler aspects of Photoshop with the sliders, and for those who do want extra simplicity beyond that, then there are going to be the rest of the filters and effects right next to the adjustments tab. I would argue that you would probably do most of your work in the adjustments tab if you're trying to do more complicated edits. And that's not to say that this app is only worth it for these people, because if you know what you're doing, you can actually squeeze a lot out of this app already. So for five bucks, I'm very happy recommending this option on iPad, but I would like to see more layer support for adding other things to it and making it a better tool for thumbnail creation and things like that. You know, like to be able to do even greater work on the go. But you can still add text here as it is, so most people will be happy with it, I think. And there you have it. The desktop apps are going to be pretty good, especially for the photo editor. And I'm sure that even professionals will like this tool quite a bit as well. So video editors who are used to more advanced tools might not be satisfied with the base version of Luxia, but it's up to you to find the proper plugins to make this a greater tool for you if you go with Luxia. However, if you're more of a simple editor or a beginner per se, then this program will give you everything that you're going to need in order to be able to learn or to just be able to improve your current skill set. And plus, it's absolutely free, so it's definitely worth a try. And as for the iPad Pro's ACDC Pro, this is a pretty good tool for edits that most people will be pretty happy with for just five bucks. And I certainly plan on learning it better with time since I see the potential in something like this. And I do want ACDC to add Luxia on the App Store because a lot of people could use good software that's affordable or free for editing on the iPad Pro. However, you've got a pretty strong recommendation for all of these apps from me while keeping these compromises that I mentioned into consideration, of course. And there we have it. Now, I would like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, and these are going to be our tier 3 $10 patrons, and that's going to be for Saad, Alwazel, Omar, and Joe Moss. Thank you so much for all of your support, and your support really does go a very long way. And now I would also like to give a very special thanks to the rest of our patrons, the tier two $5 patrons. So here we go. And this is super important. I would just like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, which are going to be listed right here on the screen. Again, a massive thanks to you all for supporting us to help us create the kind of content that we bring to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And thank you so much for supporting at the Tech Summit podcast as well. And just remember that if you would like to be a part of this community too, and then do make sure to check out the links to our Patreon, where you don't only get bonus episodes of our podcast, uh, but you also get automatically entered into one of our monthly giveaways of a tech product that we have reviewed uh, that is of at least 
$50 in value or higher. So links to that down below. And if you like this video, then do make sure to go ahead and drop us a like down below and leave us a comment as well as for your thoughts on this video. And not to mention that a subscription definitely goes a very long way. And you can also follow me on the rest of my social media like my Twitch and my Instagram. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.